What would I do if I wanted to get good at photography fast if I were starting today? And I will also add a few hard truths at the end that no one tells you about. My name is George Tetakis, an engineer turned photographer with 22 international awards. In this film, you'll find everything you need to begin your journey into the art of photography. Let's start right away. Tip number one, you need to be seeing many great photographs, as many as you possibly can. Avoid training your eye on social media because you need to develop your aesthetic criteria first. Try the websites of photography agencies such as Magnum Photos, VU Photos, etc. The next way, which in my opinion is the best, try renowned photography books. I know this is a bit more expensive, but trust me, it's well worth it because now you get to see the photographs printed on actual paper. I've actually put together a list of my favorite photography books to get you going and I'll make sure I put the affiliate links down in the show notes. Last but not least, you need to be visiting gallery exhibits. You need to be visiting photography exhibitions in your area or even abroad. I'm here at the village called Perahora and I'm headed towards this church, this small church at the front. Let me zoom in here, see? Tip number two, after some research, find the photographer you truly admire and copy them. Not forever, but long enough to understand their psychology. What do they obsess about? When do they go out for shooting? Where do they find it? This is a practice that's been done by artists since forever. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. This isn't about being a copycat, but rather to learn through imitation. Later, when you become a photographer, you will be able to blend what you learned with your own style. So that's it. I'm trying to find an interesting angle to take photographs. I have this wooden boat over here, it's a fish boat. Κοιτάτε με ένα το φακό, λύστε τα μάτια και θα σου πω ένα, δύο, τρία, θα τα Tip number three, shoot a lot. That might sound obvious, but it's crucial. Shoot constantly. Your first 20, 50, 100, 200, 1000 photographs will be terrible. That's fine. The more you shoot, the better you get. Believe me when I say that, everyone's been there. Don't be afraid to shoot terrible photographs. Okay. Ah, ne. Ah, me ta tama taxis perimena na do kati na kremete as mais ta ta paradosia kak ta vanda. Kita do. Tu vleps. Do e karavi. Tip number four. Patience is key. Photography, like all good things, takes time. You won't be a master overnight. The frustration of not seeing results immediately can kill your drive, I understand, but be patient. Every photograph, good or bad, will teach you something. So don't give up. <laughs> Tip number five, not in for the money. If you're into photography for the money, then you're definitely in the wrong field. Sure, you can make money, but photography is driven by passion, not profit. And that's true with any kind of art. Artists do what they do because they cannot live without it. They cannot imagine their life without their craft. So if you are not obsessed, forget about it. It's going to be very tough. Tip number six. Master the exposure triangle. 
get the technical stuff out of the way early. The exposure triangle, shutter speed, aperture and ISO, learn it until it's second nature. A simple Google search can give you all the information you'll ever need. Study it relentlessly. Trust me, the sooner you stop thinking about it, the sooner you can focus on the art. Ωραία, όπως είσαι, πίσω από τη χρυσούλα. Μα και λέω πώς βγήκανε αλλιώτικες. Ωραία, λίγο ακόμα. Tip number seven, master light. Light is everything in photography. Photography literally means writing with light, from the Greek words phos, that means light, and graphi, that means to write. So, understand how exactly light works. Understand the mechanics and the physics of the light. You can do a Google search or you can also check out my blog where I have a beautiful article explaining light. Understand natural light, understand artificial light, and how to manipulate it to make better photographs. Tip number eight, broaden your knowledge. Photography is an art and as such it reflects the world around us. What art needs from you is to be able to see the world through your eyes. You have a unique seat in the world's theatre and you need to be able to honestly communicate your thoughts through your media which in this case is photography. The thing is, you need to have something to say so that people listen. In order to do that you need to broaden your mind, you need to cultivate yourself. You need to start reading good books, you need to start going to the theatre, to music shows such as ballet, opera, you need to go to galleries, museums, visit exhibits and in general become a better you so that people will want to listen. Number nine, set creative restraints. In other words, set limits for yourself. For me, I shoot black and white, horizontally, and I never crop. This shouldn't be the same for you, but these are absolute boundaries for my work. And this actually liberates me, because I limit the options for my tools. Today we have a vast array of tools and options to shoot. And if we use everything, it's going to be very difficult for us because our aim is to make our mind, our eye and camera become one. You need to directly communicate your thought to a printed photograph. So in order to do that, you need to perfect just a handful of tools and be able to do that. Κλείστε, κλείστε τα. Κλείστε και με το τρία. Ένα, δύο, τρία, πάνω. Tip number 10. Study composition. Composition is a very important part of a photograph. A photograph consists of composition and subject. So you need to learn the rules of composition. They are actually mostly guidelines and I'll tell you why in a second. But composition is an ancient art. It's rooted in painting. And composition rules include the rule of thirds, leading lines, Fibonacci spirals and so on and so forth. You can do a Google search about that but you can also visit my blog at tetakis.com where you can find two articles that can help you out towards your path to greater composition. Now why did I say that they are mostly guidelines? Because later on when you become an experienced photographer you will find out that you might want to bend or break some of these rules and this is a good thing, you should be doing that. But in order to do that, you need to first know what they are. So you need to study as many rules as you can find and as much as you can. 
I'll give you a bonus tip before we move on to the hard truths I promised. You need to be sharing your work. Share your work on social media, on your website, you name it. What you actually need is some constructive criticism. This will help your work move forward. Comments from your family and friends saying that you're a great photographer, you take brilliant photos and so on, they don't help. They might feed your vanity, but they don't actually help. You need some criticism from people who you trust. I know this might be uncomfortable, but it really helps your work go forward. Of course, don't take any criticism from haters and internet trolls. They are only there to cause trouble, so just ignore those. Actually, if you become a better photographer and the more experienced you are, you will get more haters, which is usually a good thing. So don't worry about that. Let's now move to the hard truths I promised. Hard truth number one. No one cares about your work. Really, no one. Not even your mother. No one cares if you are a doctor, if you are an engineer, if you are a photographer. No one cares if you put out work, if you don't put out work. No one cares. Put it in your mind. This might sound harsh, but it's also liberating. It's liberating because you don't have to be shy anymore. You can share your work, you can share your work with the world. No one will care. They will see it, they will like it, they will not like it, and then move on with their lives. So, this is very important and we usually forget about it. No one cares. Hard truth number two. Don't expect anything. As we discussed earlier, you are in for the love of photography. You are obsessed and you cannot live without it. You are not in for money and fame. So don't expect those. You might be working for 10 or 20 or 30 years and still achieve no money or fame. That's okay. Because you are doing something you really love. So you will be able to lead a joyful life. And that must come for something. So these are my tips for now, hope you enjoyed them. If you do want to dive deeper into the art of photography, make sure you get a copy of my book Throw Away Your Camera and Become a Photographer. I'll put an affiliate link down in the show notes. If you do get a copy, please let me know what you think about it. Okay, cheers guys, bye! So pulita panata, so apano so dilera fo pulita panata, so pulita panata, so.